Pray, follow me. I know the way, so there's no chance of our getting lost. I don't know what to do. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Here we are. You've come. Glad to see you, friend. So, what say you? Would you care to live here in my absence? As I've said, you needn't worry about tending to the place. Many thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. I'll stop by again in a week's time, but till then, farewell. We will find much better rest in an abode than out in the elements, methinks. Let us make good use of it while we can. You have my support. A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor. Regarding the Queen Regent, and an important personage, you mean? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. Greetings. You seek guidance, do you not? You need only make a worthy offering in exchange. I have seen your path. May these... You've my gratitude. It is lovely to see you. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. What they're whispering of me now. I dread to know. Oh. Now here's a surprise. Our collection grows. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Water is nigh invisible in this gloom. No few times has an over- We shall await you here, master. Yes. 
Well, have you found some place I might sate my scholarly curiosities? Oh, to think such a place existed. Well, guide me outside, then. If you can deliver me from this pit, I ought to be able to find the rest of the way on my own. Come along. It's good to be reunited. I. This should be far enough. My thanks. If you truly are arisen, then I swear to someday repay this debt I owe. Words may be wind, but there's naught else I can offer you at present. Pray visit me if you have the time or inclination. Mayhap the knowledge I've gained reading tomes of Eld could be of some use to you. to bring word of this to Captain Brandt. Shall we take a closer look? Always a pleasure. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true... It seems Magistrate Wardour has been safely delivered from his cell. The man's dedication to justice shall doubtless be a great boon to our cause. Mayhap it would be prudent to visit man on occasion and avail yourself of his vast stores of wisdom. He might have knowledge that could benefit you on your travels. Now, would you be so kind as to return the key I lent you? I thank you. Pray, take this. Consider it remuneration for your majesty's efforts. Outstanding. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are- I bear word from Regent Ken Spen, Your Majesty. He espied the delivery of a suspicious package to a man named Allard. A minister who happens to be one of the Queen Regent's staunchest and most powerful allies in the palace. From the pains he took to remain on scene, it is plain that Allard wished this delivery kept away from prying eyes. That alone is reason to suspect a connection to Deezer's schemes. We must get to the bottom of it. The Regent Kin intends to call Allard to his chambers come nightfall. He bids you to use this opportunity to search the Minister's chambers and see if there's aught to be learned. What say you, Your Majesty? Are you willing to undertake this task? 
I shall ensure that the door to the minister's chambers is open between midnight and dawn. Pray. Use that time to infiltrate and uncover aught worthy of suspicion. We have been entrusted with a task. Let us approach it with all due care. It would seem we have a need to visit the palace. Pawns are forbidden from entering the castle grounds, but we may accompany you to the entrance. Over here, if you please. have arrived. We shall remain here. You are the Arisen, yes? The captain gave me your description. Follow me! Follow me! you move along. Should one of the other guards spy you, I will be forced to play my part. Pray be cautious, Your Majesty. The minister would be more careful. He takes the sentinel posted outside his chambers with him everywhere. There are times when no one's standing watch there at all. Aye, it happened just yesterday, in fact. Put me in a right state when I saw the door unguided. Still, I suppose there's not much to worry about. It's not as if we let thieves wander around the palace, eh? Business could be so pressing that I must be summoned at this late hour. I would not presume to know, my lord. However, it must be a highly sensitive matter for the regent kin to request a private audience. Oh, perhaps the boy has finally grown wise to the benefits my favor can bring. He might just be his mother's puppet, but at least he knows what's good for him. M my lord, if someone were to overhear... Oh, unring your hands, you fool! As if anyone in this palace would dare say a word against me. Now, if Wilhelmina calls, tell her to await me in my chambers. I will return presently.
surely none more important than this. I speak of the ascension of the Sovereign. Indeed. But that, your grace, would be better discussed in the presence of your mother. What are you doing here? Guards, seize them. Well, well. We meet again. Is this stealthy business becoming a habit of yours? Oi! Who goes there? Now, this just won't do. How's a lady supposed to work with all these interruptions? Oh, it is you, Lady Wilhelmina. Mm-hmm. Do excuse us. We thought to enjoy a little fresh air. Though, we had hoped for slightly more privacy, if you catch my meaning. Apologies, my lady. But might I ask the name of your companion? Are you sure it would be wise? Such knowledge has been known to cost a man his head. Ah, uh, understood, my lady. If anyone asks, I shall say I saw naught. Hmm. A narrow escape. You should count yourself lucky that he was so easily flustered. I don't appreciate having my motives questioned. I did as I saw fit. Need I say more? Something tells me this shan't be the last I see of you. Perhaps you'll be good enough to repay me when next we meet. Off you go now. If you wish to speak further, twill have to wait. This is neither the time nor the place for it. It seems you've made a discovery regarding the false sovereign. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Ah, oh, excellent find. much we are to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. I know this sigil well. Tis the crest of the neighboring country of Batal, a land with which Vermin has no official dealings at present. Let me see. 
It reads, True to our word, we offer you the power of the God's way. Pray make haste in securing Melv, that all might be made ready ere our plans are set in motion. A meagre clue, to be certain. Though, tis clear that the Queen Regent conspires with Batal. This does not bode well at all. Though the political situation is stable at present, much blood has been spilt between Vermund and his neighbor in the past. I fear such a partnership would only portend the drawing of more. At any rate, to seem our search has led us to only more questions. Chief among them, what is meant by securing Melv and this God's way? I will investigate these matters as best I can. In the interim, Your Majesty, should you have time to spare, might you make for Melv? Only once we have gleaned a fragment of the Queen Regent's plot, can we begin to thwart it, and ere it slips my mind, pray, take this. Perchance it will help speed you on your way to Melv. A moment long away, phases. Now there's a name to remember. Your current vocation is ill-suited to wielding a bowmaster. True enough. Shall we get some rest then? We ought to consider this a lesson. This is what the bulls might let down their guard. I've just recalled. I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to it? Harpies, be on your guard! We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. I knew that I could count upon your strength, Arisen. Does 
pleasantly cool here. What with a canopy overhead? Look there. I espy another statue. I can foresee no reason not to go see it up here. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. You'll like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. My thanks. There you are. A well-earned reward. My talents lie in combining materials and I'll use those in my possession to craft things for you in my spare time. We can't reach it from here. We'll have to get up there and drop it down. The day grows darker with our every step. We shall have to be all the more vigilant. Are you in need of healing? The battle cannot be avoided. Just fight and fly. Understood.
well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. I'll gather this. It might be of use. I never would have expected to find a cave in a place like this. It was an exciting discovery. We ought not to lose our heads. I grant you fire's blaze. Use it well. Is overly narrow here and ill suited to combat. Let us proceed with caution. I feel. One never can have too many of these. Let us take care when and how we put them to use.
be on your guard. There are innumerable corners where an enemy might conceal you. Keep your eyes peeled. Treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Keep your ears pricked. Our foes might betray themselves with the slightest sound. Naught can threaten us if we watch each other's backs. You're like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. This is my first time clapping eyes on such an item. I expect my own master has yet to even discover it. Pray, allow me to open your chest. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Is there nothing we can do about this obstacle? I can destroy that if need be. Might I be of assistance? Now here's a surprise. A splendid discovery. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Hey, shall we proceed into the depths? <laughs> Proceeding with the fun, it's an early plan. Of course, walking bones! 
Let my magic give you your weapon with the fury of the I shan't allow any further harm. Surpassed with skill. The tide of battle was in our favor. To charge ahead may be to rush headlong into danger. Let us take care to move as one. What? Oh! I thought about the trick of the light. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Be 
leave an opening. Focus your attacks. Strike fast and true, and our quarry shall fall. Now you leave. The mouth of several people, each with its own weakness. The mouth of the will be ours. Focus your strength, Griffin. Let my magic flow to the event. You'll like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. Putting that aside, 
Ours is a party of women, by and large. And yet, no two of us are the same. has an overconfident step to soak my boots. I expect that's a common occurrence in my line of work. The paths to victory are good. That strategy will never be the first Not what I expect. Our fire magics for another time then.
so close a call offers no solace in victory. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. Truly are formidable arisen. I feared we might never escape that place. Such dark depths take their toll on the spirit. I quite agree. <laughs> 